Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Dylan goes to Miss Sabiha and says make your decision, either tell the truth now or don't come here again. Miss Sabiha turns to Baron saying, I understand you don't want to see me, but let heaven stay with you, please, only then will I feel at ease. And Ms. Azade hears everything said at the door. Miss Sabiha turns and leaves without looking back. Dylan cries behind her saying I don't understand why he is doing this to us. Baron hugs her and tries to support her. While Miss Sabiha sees Hassan and is about to follow him, Ms. Azade calls out and asks, Do you see, how is she going, what is this woman doing, without looking back? When Hassan doesn't say anything, Ms. Azade says, I'll find out what's going on. When Sabiha leaves the room and says to Haven that Dylan doesn't want to see me anymore, Haven asks how it is. When Ms. Sabiha says that Dylan is right, I entered her life and gave her nothing but trouble, Haven says that you are doing all this to protect Dylan. Ms. Sabiha says it's true, but from now on, you will stay with Dylan and leaves Dylan in the care of Haven. While Dylan is talking about why he is very upset, Baron tries to calm him down because he is confused about what to do. He also says that if you are going to be this sad, you found it very difficult to keep such a distance between you and your mother, you made her very sad. Dylan says no, just as she risked being separated from her child, I can also risk being without a mother. While Harun and Yasmin are thinking about how to say that they lost the envelope, Sevdet and Sevri arrive. Harun and Yasmin are confused about how to act, and while Harun cannot bear it and wants to confess, Yasmin says that they tried hard to hide the envelope. Just then, Sevdet was about to say that Sevri had the envelope, but Sevri stopped him. When Harun leaves them with Yasmin, Sevdet asks, It's fine, but you have the envelope, why didn't you let me tell you? When Sevri explains, never mind, they get to know each other this way, Sevdet says they are afraid of you. When Dylan talks to Baron, she relaxes a little bit and when Baron asks are you sure about this, Dylan says I don't know but we could have suffered much greater damage, I made the same mistake at the time, I don't know how you tolerated my silence, but I couldn't stand my mother's silence. Baron explains that I didn't endure it, I surrendered, because I love you so much. Then Baron remembers what Dylan talked about then. He says, I still feel the regret of hurting you at that time, that's why I don't want you to suffer this pain too, hopefully your mother will understand before it's too late. At that moment, Mr. Kudret and Chihan come to them and Dylan leaves the room. Harun and Yasmin keep looking for the envelope and argue a lot while searching. When Yasmin says I thought of a great idea, Harun asks what it is. While Haven is in the gazebo, Dylan comes to her and says, You know what Sabiha Hanum is hiding, this is not betrayal, on the contrary, it is a good thing. Then Haven says to Ms. Sabiha, I only betrayed her once and calls Kadret Bay to tell him where Dylan is. Haven just says, I don't know anything, just believe your mother. While Mr. Kadret is talking to Baron and Chihan about Sevahir being a man who does dirty things, Hassan listens at the door. When Baron finds out what kind of scumbag Sevahir is, he gets angry and hits the table because he knew it. Mr. Kudret says it's a good thing you terminated the agreement with him in time, otherwise he could have harmed us more. Baron says everyone will be on alert and we will keep that man away from our family. If Hassan Baron found out about the smuggling incident, the next thing will come as a surprise and he will call Sevahir and tell him that something needs to be done. He asks if he is going to do something. Sevahir says I'm not going to ask you what to do or not, and when he hangs up the phone, Hassan gets angry at himself and asks how did you fall into the hands of this maniac. Then Fyret comes to him while he is talking on the phone and says Baron is investigating the smuggling business, my stupid son, do you know what will happen when he finds out that you are involved in the business? When you say that you will realize that you chose the wrong side when everything is revealed, Fyret says, from now on, I don't care, I don't care about property, I have learned from the mistakes I have made so far. Meanwhile, Ghul watches them from afar and says Hassan Aga is spreading his poison again. 
When Ms. Azade comes to Sabiha's house and says, I came to ask for an account, I came to find out what you are doing behind my family's back, tell me what you are hiding, Sabiha becomes silent. When Ms. Azade puts pressure on Ms. Sabiha, Ms. Sabiha says, if I were to tell you, I would tell it to my daughter. Ms. Azade says, you say you couldn't be a mother to my daughter, that's a hotry challenge. Ms. Sabiha says I understand you, but I don't want to disrespect you, I do what you do, and protect my family. When Ms. Azade says that I will stop you no matter what you do, Ms. Sabiha says that if you are smart, you will not stop me because what I will do is not only to protect my daughter, but to protect all the Karabais. Ms. Azade replies, we will protect ourselves. Ghul says, I saw you come to fire it and talk to your father, he is annoying you again. Fire it gets angry because the bond between him and his father is so bad and asks why anyone treats his child like this. He reassures Ghoul that you have opened a clean page in your life and we will not let your father dirty it. Dylan and Baron are getting ready to go to the hospital for the baby's checkup, and Dylan is worried about how well the baby is doing. Baron says he is fine, don't worry, let's go. They set out together to get Yasmin's report from the hospital. Harun said, we are very unreliable people and we could not protect an envelope. Haven comes to the hospital with Baron and Dylan. Dylan thinks that she is afraid of hearing something bad about the baby and is uneasy. When they enter, Miss Sabiha appears in front of them and calls out Dylan, but Dylan pulls Baron's hand away and says let's go. Haven calls out to Miss Dylan from behind, please don't do this, Miss Sabiha does whatever she does to protect you, she doesn't deserve to be so upset. When Dylan says that he is causing harm while trying to protect her, Baron says, come on, we are late, and they continue. When Ghul stands in front of Hassan and tells him to take your dirty hands off fire it, Hassan says, you deceived my son with coquetry and coquetry, is it up to you? I am his father. Let's see if you can defend him like this one day, when he loses his enthusiasm for you. Rose, it's not like you'll never understand, I wish you could love and protect him like his father once, but it's a shame, I'm telling you for the last time, he says, take your dirty hands off us and leaves. When the doctor remains silent during the baby's checkup, Dylan and Baron ask with concern what happened, is there anything wrong? The doctor says the baby is perfectly healthy and there is no problem. Miss Sabiha explains that there was an incident related to the organ mafia at the hospital and that the inspectors were investigating them and that she was in trouble. When he sees Dylan and Baron leaving the doctor's office in good spirits, he says, at least they are happy, don't leave my daughter's side, and don't talk about what happened here, don't let her be sad, my dear. Harun and Yasmin get the gender of the baby in an envelope again, and when neither of them can entrust the envelope to the other, they decide to open it and find out, even if it gets lost, it wouldn't be a problem. Yasmin is very happy when she opens the envelope and sees the gender, then Harun smiles when he takes it and sees it. When Baron tells Dylan that it is unnecessary to worry about the baby, Dylan agrees. While Baron is talking to Dylan, Haven is with them and Dylan suddenly realizes that Haven is unhappy. He asks what's wrong, but Haven replies, nothing, Miss Dylan. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.